everyone i'm jay brizzle and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and this is my voice for people who don't know what i sound like and in today's video i'll be giving you guys some true and tested tips on how to render your gfx images faster as you know i don't really use rigs for my intro videos but i was able to for the recent one link in the description because these tips helped me so much and it changed everything for me and i think that they can help you too so let's get on with the video the first tip is change tile size and this is very underrated in the gfx community that nobody tells you about but it helps so much and i'm going to show you guys how to download the plugin right now so if you don't know what tile size is, it's basically the small little cubes when you're rendering an image or animation. And in order to change that, you're gonna go to the cube and click user preferences. After you click that, look for the word rendering, should it be at the bottom. And then the text should say render auto tile size. I downloaded it already, so it won't say download for me, but if you didn't download it, click the little add plugin button at the bottom. So this is what it looks like without changing the tile size. And like I said, it's a little cube and you can see that it's very, very small and we don't want that. But if you want to change it, just go to this little wrench. And then I recommend 256 or 512 because that's proven to render more faster than others, but you can go above and beyond if you want to. And as you can see that the cubes are bigger and it's rendering much faster and the percentage is going up much faster as you can see. The second underrated tip that nobody tells you about is GPU rendering. And this is the biggest tip that helped me so much get my GFXs to render much much faster and is literally a click away so once you finish setting up your avatar and everything adding touches you can click on your little camera and then this little device button it says cpu next to it you're gonna click gpu compute and basically what that is is just a graphics driver and it is very very useful it helps rendering go by much faster and it won't change up or mess up anything. It'll just stay the same like if you were rendering with normal settings. And I know you guys probably can't see it, but in the little bar on the top right with the percentage, it will take a little bit of time for it to increase much faster, but once it's at that, it'll shoot up. So now a minute's passed, and as you can see, the bar is halfway full, which means that it's halfway rendering. And it works with HDRIs too. Also, this works with rig animations or regular animation, as well if you were wondering if it did. This third tip is reduce samples and i know not everybody knows what samples are because they're hidden and i didn't know until now but basically samples just make your picture more high quality and more pleasing and it makes it look more soft and you don't want to use way too much because it'll just slow down the rendering like for example two pictures here one has 128 samples and one has 50 samples and you can barely tell the difference because it's still rendered right and nothing really changed because of that plus it rendered quickly the third tip is to reduce your sunlight so i know that everybody wants their gfx to look realistic have a, some sort of reflection but you don't want to go too overboard on the sunlight because when I did that, it took way longer. Like I recommend six, like the level six, if you call it level, I really don't know, but I'll stretch that bar up until it says six because 
I don't want to go past 10 or anything because it's going to look too reflective and it's just going to make it take longer and it might not turn out so good. Nine times out of 10. But it's different if you're using room models with walls and you want like a reflection to go in. If you're making some sort of intro, but you don't want to go like up to 50 or anything because then your GFX, the sun will be so strong that it'll look white. Your GFX will look like have a white color to it and then it'll just be so bright and it'll just like take much much longer for it to render because of all that light anyways that's all that i have for you today if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button click the subscribe button and click that bell so you could get a notification every time i upload a video also hope i didn't sound too tired but comment down some video ideas because i'm legit running out of ideas i don't really know what to do right now so if you want you can leave some comments down below i'll probably be doing some shout outs it depends maybe i don't know but i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day bye